I'm a dad. Uh, I'm a reserve police officer in my local community. I'm a security consultant. Hector Alvarez is a volunteer officer with Bolson PD. He sat down with us to break down the intense moments shown in the body cam video that Officer Tara O'Sullivan's partner was wearing when she was killed. You know, I don't know what's going through his head, and I can only imagine that it's um, it's that it's that one thing that none of us want to happen, and it's like it's happening. We've heard things about, you know, why did it take so long, and, and people questioning. And I don't I don't think anybody can remotely fathom the uh, the desire to get to help your partner when something's going on, and so knowing that they were stuck and and not able to get there for as long as they were. Uh, it, it uh, is a painful thing to consider that they went through. How loud is it when you're actually there? It, it's almost deafening loud. Um, you know, this particular round is faster, is smaller, um, and it, it was it was nonstop. And you you can hear the different percussions. You can hear you can hear the different guns. We always hear people say things like, "Well, it's what we signed up for." A lot of, if not most, people got into law enforcement to help people and knowing that you're in a position where you can't help is really tough. If we think about the underlining call, um, this was a woman who was afraid of the partner that she had and so asked for help just to get her stuff. Um, again, it was a typical call until it wasn't. We're there to protect everybody. And uh, it's rough, you know, this one, this one stings because she was, she's what we all wanted. You know, she's, she's the officer that we all wanted and she was taken far too, far too soon.